If you've ever been into reading about science fiction or fantasy or anything, chances are you've come across Brandon Sanderson's work at least once uh, because he's one of the most prolific sci-fi and fantasy authors we've had at least over the past few decades. And Brandon Sanderson had a Kickstarter that did really, really well, surprisingly well, shockingly well. And there are some people that are just not happy about that. Brandon Sanderson's Kickstarter success draws outrage, accusations of white privilege from fellow writers. Holy cow. The multi-million dollar achievement of veteran sci-fi and fantasy author Brandon Sanderson's recent mystery novel Kickstarter has drawn outrage from his fellow writers, with some even attributing the campaign's record success to nothing more than white privilege. Yeah, it couldn't be that, again, Brandon Sanderson has that history of really well-received writing. It can't be that at all. There's no way. It has to be because he's white. That's why so many people gave him money on Kickstarter. Announced on March 1st, Sanderson's surprise Kickstarter campaign offers readers the chance to receive four unnamed books, three set in Sanderson's original Cosmere universe, and one described by an author as something completely different in a series of blind box style releases across the entirety of 2023. Some of you might want to receive these books with minimal spoilers and just enjoy them fresh and new without even knowing the title ahead of time. Kind of like going into a movie blind, never seeing the trailer on the promise that it's by a filmmaker you know and love. We also thought this might make it fun for book, book club or groups of friends and family to co-read a mysterious Sanderson book, knowing, or knowing almost nothing about it. Sanderson has gone on to provide details about one of the books. You can go check it out there. Opening with a grand total goal of $1 million, as of this article's writing, the campaign has raised over or $25 million across roughly 110,000 backers. Now, as I'm looking at it, it's at $28 million. Like almost $30 million in under two weeks he has raised on Kickstarter. Crazy. While the majority of both fans and authors have celebrated the resounding success of Sanderson's campaign, seeing it as both a testament to the desire for good stories and the sense of true or trust fostered between the author and his friends, some found the entire affair to be nothing more than an insult to non-white authors. Holy shit. Here's an author, uh, Queen of None and Pilgrim of the Sky author, Natanya Barron. Today is a really good day to support your favorite author who hasn't made $18 million in the last few days. Am I personally upset at Brandon Sanderson for making money? Uh, no, not at all. Truly good for him. What makes me frustrated is that especially genre writers are told there's not a big market for fantasy. That and many readers stick to just a handful of authors. But there are so many incredible science fiction fantasy writers out there. If you love fantasy and want to support the genre, I highly recommend reading more and more broadly. Starter pack to blow your mind, all of these different people here. Dungeons and Dragons contributor, uh, Temptus Bradford says, this runaway Brandon Sanderson Kickstarter is totes the origin story for the Brandon Sanderson Presents imprint, where he shines a spotlight on, by publishing, BIPOC authors writing epic fantasy steeped in their own cultures, right? This was the plan the whole time, wasn't it? Getting increasingly more irritated by the continued astronomical, astronomical success of that Kickstarter. There's so much excellent, diverse science fiction fantasy out there, yet y'all are intent on giving that man millions of dollars. They are mad because he's white and successful. That's why they're upset. Because he's white, male, and more successful than they are, and they are fucking bitter about it. I read a bunch of his books years ago, mostly enjoyed them, except the more I read, the more bored I got. At every turn, he picks the most obvious choice, and his characters are so stock you could order them out of a catalog. It's largely because he lacks the creativity that comes with having a broad, diverse worldview. With each book, I walked away feeling like if only these characters had been queer, if this colonial setting had been interrogated more, if that trope had been subverted. Bro, it, th this. This is the backlash that this man is getting for being successful. Holy shit. Before anyone else mentions it, yes, Brandon also benefits from operating on the lowest difficulty setting of life here in the U.S. 
and entirely possible some opportunities were open to him as a straight white male that weren't open to others. They are mad that this man has raised $28 million, not based off the color of his skin, not based on the fact that he's a dude, that he's straight, none of that. The reason he's raised $28 million is not because of the color of his skin. It's because of what he's done before. It's because of his previous work, because people know him, because people like his writing. And for some reason, that's very upsetting to all these black female person of color authors out there. They're very triggered that a white man is making so much money. I guess we shouldn't be shocked at this point. Brandon Sanderson, after making so much money, has pissed off the woke science fiction and fantasy writing community. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.